Hey guys, welcome back. So I thought I would do another wish video. Well, I got some more stuff from Wish. Now, if you don't already know, Wish is a website where you can buy things wholesale straight from China and therefore save a lot of money. The trade-off is it takes things about a month or two to arrive, so you better not be in any kind of a hurry to get your stuff. Now, this is my second Wish haul video where I find items for regular guys such as myself. Now, I call this a haul, but this is really just a collection of items that I've gotten from Wish over the last year. So let's get started. Here's a small one to start with. This is a pocket chainsaw. It's one of these things you take camping to uh, cut down trees and cut up firewood. You've probably seen the ones that are kind of kind of thin, more like a piece of wire, but this is a lot more heavy duty. And I got this for $5, and that includes shipping. All of these things, when I uh, quote a price, it includes everything. It's not just the price, it's the price and shipping. Another fun thing I got is one of these uh, extremely powerful laser pointers. It's a green laser. It says laser 303. I'm not sure what that number means, but it is extremely bright. And it came with one of these tips. It's kind of like a like a laser show. I can press, do this and you can twist it. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of swirling around. So you can do that or you can unscrew that and it just becomes a laser pointer. So yeah, these are fun. Probably a bit too strong to use on a cat. Use on a cat. But uh, fun to play with. This cost me $10. Now I also got this pocket knife, which is a, it's got kind of a cleaver blade design. It's really good for opening boxes. And this has become my everyday carry knife. This cost $15 and I really like it. It's got a, uh, pocket clip and it's just a nice little knife. I highly recommend these. Now one thing about Wish, if you search for the word trippy, buckle up. That's how I found this fabric print. So just kind of look at this and uh, soak that up. It's pretty amazing. Looks like we got the Egyptian god Anubis over here. Uh, I think we got green Jesus here. We got snakes, we got tentacles, and this face. I'm pretty sure that must be the artist. Now, unfortunately, this print is not black light reactive. Now that would have been something. This cost $11. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you is this baseball bat. More specifically, it's a wood baseball bat. Now this seems a little light and thin, but when you search for a wooden bat, on Wish, you find some interesting things. First of all, you'll find a bunch of bats kind of like this, but they're a lot shorter. They'll probably only be about like two feet long, which I thought was kind of strange. But if you start scrolling down, you'll start seeing items related to European and UK football clubs or soccer clubs, if you're in the US. And they start kind of leaning toward items that are related to football hooligans. So I don't think this is a baseball bat. I think this is a fighting bat. But the reason I got this one was because I wanted to, in the future, make a video where I do some kind of a, like a spiked bat. But yeah, this was pretty cheap. I only paid $12 for it. Next, I got this set of two wooden training swords. I believe they're for the uh, Japanese fencing or kendo. And these are actually really nice. And through clever use of coupons, I only paid $7 for both of them. Now, when I first picked these out, I thought they were going to be just some kind of a cheap, lightweight wood. But it turns out they are a very dense, very high quality, nice and heavy training sword. Now, they came with these plastic guards. And they're meant to be held on by this white rubber band. But these things are just extremely cheap, cheap plastic. And they look like cookies. So I just left it off and just used the white rubber band to show where the blade meets the handle, or where I assume it would. So yeah, if you're into kendo or you just want a wooden sword to swing around, you can't go wrong with these. These are very nice. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I gotta get me some cheap swords, and I got three of them. Uh, first of all, 
I got this one. Now this is probably the most common cheap sword you'll ever find. It's just a straight bladed, uh, single piece, full tang sword with a wrapped handle. And I know these are extremely cheap, but I have wanted one of these for like 25 years. I finally got one. I only paid uh, $11 for it. Next, I got this sword that they call a saber. I really like the design of this one. I like the upswept tip, and it even has a little hand guard on it. The handle's not great, just wrapped. It's got kind of a, feels like plastic underneath. It's kind of squishy, but it's okay. It's a cheap sword. It's got this weird texture on it. I don't know what they were thinking, but it's got this texture and these what appear to be like hammer marks on it. So I don't know, but I kind of like this one. Feels good in the hand and uh, Again, I really like this, uh, this shape. Oh yeah, I paid $18. Finally, we got my favorite one. It's this one right here. They call this a gladius, but I don't think that's what that is. I think it's either a short broadsword or a broad short sword. Either way, I really like the shape of this blade. The handle is really terrible, just cheap plastic but I intend to replace this handle with something that looks better. So yeah, I've always wanted one that looked kind of like this. This one I paid a whopping $25 for. Oh, and look at this. Arrows. I got 24 arrows for $25. And that is an extremely good deal because every other place I look, they're up twice that much. And these are good quality. These are 31 inch fiberglass arrows. The fletching is on there nice and good. They're very straight. One thing, they, uh, these are target arrows, so these don't unscrew. You can't put a broadhead on there or anything like that, but you can get those kind of arrows on Wish. So if you're into archery at all, I don't think you can beat the price. I got a project coming up where I'm making a longbow. So that's what these are for. Now last, but definitely not least, is this helmet. This is an airsoft helmet, and it is a, I believe it's a Chinese knockoff of a really high-end helmet called the DevTac Ronin. But the quality is really good, and these uh, these panels can be removed, and some of them are replaceable. It came with some replacement parts that are like mesh. Also came with uh, replacement lenses for the eyes, and I just think it looks really cool. I'm not an airsoft guy, but uh, I'll use this for Halloween or something. Now there's kind of a story on how I got this. About a year ago, it popped up on my feed, and I thought it looked cool, but it was $180, so I was like, no way. And cut to like six months later, I see, and it's only $50. So I uh, click it, but then I notice that the shipping is $100. So they try to get you with the shipping. Keep an eye out for that. Now cut to a few months after that, and I see Wish is doing a promotion. It says free shipping. And I look, and I see this helmet is still $50. But I also had a 25% coupon code. And not only that, but I did the thing where if somebody has bought this within the last 48 hours, you can kind of piggyback onto their purchase and save even more money. So, all told, I got this $150 helmet for $38, and almost immediately after I bought it, they jacked up the price again. But even at $38, this is still the most expensive thing I've ever bought on Wish. But it's definitely worth it. I didn't mention before, but it's got a tiny fan on the inside to keep the lenses from fogging up. So there you have it. I guess that pretty much wraps up my second Wish Haul Stuff for Guys video. And if you haven't checked out Wish, I recommend it. I haven't, uh, I haven't been burned on anything yet. So thanks for watching. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. And uh, like and subscribe. See you next time.